Hey guys, it's Abby and I hope you're having a great summer so far and today I wanted to share with you a little summer vlog. So after doing the spring vlog last spring, I was like, oh, would it, it would be nice to have like a seasons vlog and I really like that idea because then it's marking time based on season. I do hope you enjoy this video. It is Thursday and how are you liking this new setup? I actually moved my table towards the window because I was having difficulty like filming in proper light setting and I wanted to just once and for all figure out that what's the best way to actually position my table and I found out that feng shui, I mean I'm not like a huge like feng shui person but it does help sometimes. Apparently, it's not advisable to put like a desk right by the door. That's also why probably I haven't been feeling good about that situation. Now I feel like I really feel so homey in my little desk, cozy setup. And also, I have more space to just film a cam footage like this without the hassle of like moving stuff around. So, I wanted to share that. I did not vlog about my Monday and Wednesday, but I was at a co-working studio 
co-working space i currently work at a co-working space called tuesday and it's really great i've met so many amazing people there i also work there a lot and i finished a lot of website pages which i have been putting off for months now that i managed to do in two days so like i am fully supportive of this energy that i'm having last tuesday i met sven and he was really lovely after i met him i had this extra time and one of my friends, Lei, she was like, have you not gone to Dustman yet? She and Emily, two of my closest friends in Germany, they're like, you have to go. So I went to Dustman. I really enjoyed my time there. There were comfy chairs, there were bathrooms, there were really a great, there was a great selection of English books. And I also managed to finally get this tote bag. So I'm gonna share with you my little haul. So actually this tote bag, I've been eyeing this for the longest time. Like I know Penguin makes these tote bags like with um, popular classic covers. So it was either The Great Gatsby or Pride and Prejudice. I don't really know that much about Pride and Prejudice. So I decided to get The Great Gatsby. And it's really great. I love it. I love it. Um, I am a sucker for good branding. I know Penguin is like really great at that. And there's also a magnetic lock. So that's great. So I managed to get two books. I said I wouldn't get books anymore, but I had like a pile that I was checking out while I was at Dustman. I was reading through them and I decided to pick up two books. Please don't judge that it the color scheme is pretty much screams Abby, but I decided to get these two books. So the first one is The School of Life Calm. I wanted to get this book called On Mental Illness from The School of Life, but I hesitated on getting it and I decided to just get this one instead because I'm at that point in my life where I want to feel calm, but I'm also very anxious as a person, so I figure out how to do that. Hopefully this book will help me with that. And then this one is my first physical book from Joanne Didion. I do have her ebooks on my iPad. Um, I read The Year of Magical Thinking a few years ago. Sometimes I would read her essays. This one is Let Me Tell You What I Mean. She recently passed, like late last year. And I watched this documentary on Netflix about her called The Center Will Not Hold. And I really like her in general, like her, her viewpoints, her writing. And I read through some essays. I was pretty much hooked. There was something about writing and telling stories. And I'm like, I like those things. So I'm going to be adding this to my TBR pile. So actually, the past few days have been weird for me. Like, I feel sick. I don't feel sick. I wake up too early. I get out of the flat so early so today I kind of want to take it easy and like have a nice lunch here before heading out and doing some activities tomorrow and for the weekend I'm going to a small town called Lübeck I'm so excited to meet one of my patrons so yeah that's the agenda and I have to get back to actually filming my other stuff BRB
Monday, July 10th, and it's summer, but I'm wearing a sweater because it's like 19 degrees and this sweater has been with me since the winter and I don't know, it feels like a warm hug. Honestly, I came from a really nice couple of days. Uh, my really good friend and Biz BFF. We call it we call each other Biz BFF because we are super like involved in each other's businesses. So um, my really good friend CH of Everyday Explorers Co came to visit Berlin, and we went around the city together. We had coffee, lots of brainstorming. It was really great. But when she left this morning, I had this like whole um, yeah, I had an anxiety attack building up already and i do notice this pattern come up every few months or like once a month and i've been taking more active steps to figure out how to deal with it but of course the entire day has passed and i cleaned a lot i did the laundry i'm starting to unpack i'm starting to pack because we're moving to a new flat by end of july um, I'm watching Gilmore Girls. I just had a nice dinner. I think I'm feeling a bit of the weekend reset and I feel a bit better than I was. I was on the brink of like, I don't know, I don't want to be so dark here, but like um, usually when I get these um, anxiety attacks, it's not related at all to my job. It's really like just why am I here? Why did I actually move? I still have these like random bits and pieces that I have to sort through with my own um, way the way I see myself and yeah don't really want to share that much about it but yeah it's one of those anxiety attack driven days so I've been crying this whole um, sometime at noon and then when I got back actually I've been waiting for the advanced copy of my book for weeks and apparently, I found out from FedEx last week that they dropped it off at the sushi restaurant downstairs. And it was indicated in FedEx that it was sent to the resident. So I went to the sushi restaurant this morning, this afternoon when I arrived back. And I finally got it. Here is a sneak peek of the book. And we kind of match. So yeah, I have the book. I still have to work on um, sharing the contents, but definitely I will be sharing it on Patreon. But I cannot tell you how many times I've cried seeing that book since I got it. I sent the videos to my friends, like pictures and everything. I always like, like I am the type of person, like the first thing that I do is I send it to my best friends and then all my friend groups and just, yeah, I really, really value their feedback and it's like something i like celebrating with people i really cherish so yeah this coming week i am going to take you along to where i work it's called tuesday co-working i really enjoy it there and i am going to be finishing a lot of video editing and putting up some of the uh, rewards for the vips and for the new tiers for patreon So it might be a bit ironic for me to be wearing a sweater but it's one of those cold summer days like I always thought summer was going to be like just one whole stretch like three months of 30 degree weather but 
I don't know, the last time I was in Berlin, it was also summer, but that was 2019. It was really hot. These um, past few weeks have been like hot and cold. So part of me is always like, what am I actually going to wear? Every day is a surprise, guys. But I've been enjoying it. It's just allowing me to also be more flexible because I am such a rigid person on myself. Actually, as I'm filming this, I've not really... I'm feeling very under the weather. It's also quite cold today. It's like 18. And I did so much work for the past two, three weeks. It's not even work that's like seen on social media. It's kind of inner work. like doing behind the scenes stuff, typing out ideas, and just thinking a lot. And I think that is kind of what the summer energy has given me. But also I want to just recuperate and like be with myself and maybe work stuff out. Which is funny because um, I did my full moon reading this morning. Um, I forgot to share by the way. I think some of you have been asking about this. But my moon readings are actually on my Hobonichi Weeks like this. So they're just one pagers. And the one that I got, the cards that I got for this full moon, which is mid-July, is Eight of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Hermit. So I find it funny because usually the third card that I get is the future card, which is the Hermit. And I think it's it says here like introspection, find answers within, and self-reflection. So maybe I have to really carve out time to just think of where I'm taking myself from here because I remember like when I was filming during the spring it was really so sad and it was so like I wasn't going anywhere not to say that now I know I'm where I'm going but things have been a bit more stable like I've been getting work projects and I've also planned out my trips for the next few months so that's going to be exciting I also finally caught up on like journaling backlogs and sort of like balancing my life around traveling, meeting people, working, and also carving out me time because I have this current struggle now of like how to put in me time or what to do during me time. I got so stressed. There was this one Sunday I was just crying and I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> or like, I don't want to be in my own company, but living alone uh, living alone in a new country has always been my dream but i always have to keep myself like i have to snap out of it in such a way that okay i have to find a way to make myself stay sane on days that i'm alone so i've been enjoying getting myself into that groove starting new habits like running and also watching gilmore girls guys it's my first time watching gilmore girls it's great so yeah, that's it for this little summer update and I will see you in the fall and in future vlogs. I've thought of doing more vlogs on the channel but it also depends on my schedule so I try to film as much as I can and just figure out from there. But thank you for watching and have a great rest of the summer or fall or whenever you're watching this. Bye!